Welcome viewers, myself Tapaswini Sahu, working as IoT trainer under Skill Development Institute, Bhubaneswar. Siemens has introduced a smart manufacturing process whose main motto is to produce the best product according to the customer requirement and to deliver in time customer according to the customer satisfaction. For that, it has used seven functions starting from product design and validation up to IoT. So IoT is one of the functions of this smart manufacturing process. IoT stands for Internet of Things, that means all the devices who support internet that can be a part of IoT. So its main objective is to make the accurate decision based on the real-time actionable data. Its, one its the main purpose is also to create the ecosystem where everything should be connected to the internet. That's why it can be also called as Internet of Everything. So this IoT can be implemented in different fields like as example we can take traffic management, smart lightning for home and office etc. About this application we more or less know about that. Under this IoT we are providing the course software analyst. So this IoT describes the physical objects that are embedded with some sensors, software and some technology so that they will communicate with other devices or other systems over the internet or other communication networks. Its QP code is SSC Q8205. SSC stands for Sector Skill Council and it under that Sector Skill Council its code is 8205. It also comes under NSQF level 6. NSQF stands for National Skill Qualification Framework and its label under this NSQF its label is 6. And it comes under the sector IT, ITS also and subsector is future skill. And the students who were passed out from degree and diploma in computer science engineering, electrical and electronics, electrical and communication engineering and electrical and instrumentation engineering, these students are only eligible to do this course. So IoT uses two technology mostly one is machine learning other one is artificial intelligence so these two technologies are mostly used to take the decision and these decisions are again communicated back to the iot device by the end of the course students will be able to know about health and safety practices at a workplace gateway configuration mindsphere cloud iot operating system creating real factory asset into virtual asset with logical data variables assigning roles and responsibilities to respective users like admin developer and user by using tenants then watching real time data from devices using mindsphere fleet manager using mindsphere dashboard to create visual event flow conditional monitoring using the edge analytics and application deployment <laughs> iot also uses two devices both software and hardware and the software we are using here mindsphere and mendix so siemens also provides the iot solution from the industry which is also called as iiot and that industry solution can be solved by the software mindsphere and mendix and the hardware that is mind connect nano from mindsphere it is a leading iot it provides the iot solution and uh, that can be uh, only stored mindsphere only stores the all the operational data and these data can be accessed through the digital application and next is mendix so mendix is a low code application data and that maintains the collaboration between the business and the IT users. Mendix also used for creating the new app and for maintaining the existing app. It also supported by all the handle devices like laptop, mobile or uh, mobile phone, laptop or uh, tablets. So here in this Mindsphere portfolio, three layers has been given. One is application layer, next is the developer layer and next is the connectivity layer. So in this application layer, we are using the software that is Mendix. So Mendix, as I told, it is used to create the new application and to maintain the existing application. So basically Mendix is used for creating the any new apps. And next is Mindsphere. So what are the, once the apps can be created in Mendix layer, so what about the data required for that application? That can be transferred through the Mindsphere only. So all the data transferred from Mindsphere to the 
Mendix. So Mendix is used for creating the app and MindSphere is used for providing all the data necessary for data. And all these apps can be maintained through the edge devices, which also we can name, no, we, we can call it also the user application devices or end user devices like our mobile phone, laptop and uh, uh, desktop, anything. So these are, so these devices, uh, they were present in the connectivity layer and through these uh, edge devices only, we can control all the apps what can be created by the Mendix. Next is Mind Connect Nano. So this is the hardware what we are required for this uh, IoT devices. And Mind, it is a pre-configured device that maintains the connectivity to the MindSphere only. So here it also required for uh, maintaining the fast and easy IoT connectivity. And it also plays the main role for transmission of data to the MindSphere. So basically Nano is mostly connected to all the controller who takes all the data and these data transport or saved inside the nano and from that nano that is transferred to the mind sphere. Its features, different features are as well, I told you it is a completely data collection device and it also maintains the up-to-date software and it is completely maintenance free and uh, it also provides the security and it provides support the protocols that is step 7 and OPC UA and up to 500 megabyte local data buffer, buffer it also provides. So under this uh, IOT or we can say IOT so different uh, training should be given to the uh, students so this training first is mind spear training so first the student will uh, get training on mind spear and mind spear inside this mind spear they will work for the application layer that means to maintain the apps and next is the mind spear system that means how these uh, these apps can be uh, developed in the global scalability and next is how to create the connection to the products plans or system mainstream. So these three layers can be maintained through the mind sphere only and the student will also get trained on this work. Next is they will also get uh, training on this uh, uh, under this mind sphere they will be also get trained how to create the asset under that asset they have to create the aspect also so it is written it will help to create a virtual asset which is logically entity of real platform asset real performing asset next is it is also uh, used for creating the variable for both static and dynamic data and next also under this asset we can create many aspect also so it is also used to create the tenant and sub tenants inside that asset and uh, next is we will go for the application of development and deployment so under that uh, the student will get training on developing self-hosted app in mendix and deploying self-hosted app into mindsphere then provisioning and publishing that app to the internet globally and under this IoT, after once the student will be get trained, so they will play different role in an industry. So these role may be it is a designer role, maybe developer or maybe maintainer. So when the student will act as designer, they should know the working principle of all the devices which are connected to the IoT. And when they will work as developer, they should know various networks and gateways they are required for maintaining that IoT. So it is also required to build the tools, processes and mechanism for continuous integration and delivery. And when the student will work as a maintainer, then they have to manage the system engineering process while developing the IoT solution. And uh, in different industry, the student or the uh, uh, they will play, uh, they, they can apply for different uh, uh, job roles and that job roles are uh, maybe it is IoT software analyst or IoT control room operator, IoT network specialist, IoT domain specialist, IoT solution architect or IoT consultant. After getting trained from SDI, so they will, they will be able to get a certification uh, like this. Okay, this is all about uh, IoT. Thank you.